overall, our assessment is that the situation at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant remains still very serious, though there are early signs of recovery in some functions such as electrical power and instrumentation. On 17th of April, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry announced that TEPCO had issued a roadmap towards restoration from the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. The roadmap outlines 63 measures to be taken in two steps over a period of six to nine months. TEPCO has provided a plan to NISA for the transfer of highly contaminated water from the basement floor of the turbine building of Unit 2 to the main building of the radioactive waste treatment facilities in order to reduce the risk of this stagnant water being discharged to the environment. On 17th and 18th of April, an unmanned robot was used to conduct inspections of the reactor buildings in Units 1, 2 and 3. And as of 18th of April, white smoke was still observed coming from Units 2, 3 and 4.